connect something else to it i don't know we'll find out when i do my full review of this so a couple of months back i did my long-term review of the logitech zone vibe one to five eight sets and why i might be considering replacing it actually and the reason is pretty simple it's it's pretty diligent it's a very good headset but if you see right here this headband is going off and i can't find a replacement for it and my wife literally advised that i go buy a new headset you're making all this money in tech i don't want to buy a headset for yourself so i did consider getting myself the jabra 2 evolve 65 or 75 uh, because the 25 was extreme but of course mind you i also do have my total beach headset which i use for video recording and good quality gaming kind of set of audio but for meetings and calls it's a bit of overkill yes i love it so much i've done a review video on this also i use it for some of my meetings but then for work you need an headset that is actually designed for work yes i take my words back you need an headset designed for work so i reached out to the ic department of my company and they said yeah they got uh wireless headsets going around and i picked one up with the it team yesterday when i went to the office and i wanted to show my first impressions of actually using this headset right here and share with you before i actually do a more long-term review of this one and mind you all the audio you'll be hearing from this video will be coming straight from this headset right here in the normal usage scenario i have my fan on it so my it's hot currently it should be about 29 degrees in my home office according to my temperature sensor right there and one of the cool things i actually want to show you is the experience of the dell application that uh you can use as a sort of a companion application for getting things done on this headset uh i have my dell headset selected here so i'm just gonna go ahead and start recording that i didn't script this one so expect some flop this is just a raw experience that i'm sharing with you so I have my Dell monitor connected to this laptop here and I have this headset right here. I have updated the firmware. You can restore the default settings. It has 74% battery left at the moment. And this says it has one of two slots available. I'm not sure what that really means, uh, but I'm going to find out and see what it means. Does it mean I could connect something else to it? I don't know we'll find out when i do my full review of this so you can modify your audio settings uh to increase your sight tone so you can sort of hear yourself i think i'm gonna leave this at two because i want to be able to hear the level of my sound when i'm in my meetings but if you don't want it you can always turn it off or just turn it off totally without actually increasing the volume and also mic noise cancellation is currently on and that is why you've been hearing some sort of low level no noise audio but if i turn that off that is what it's gonna sound like if i turn the mic noise cancelling off and i have turned it back on now and that is what the audio experience is gonna feel like uh when you're listening to it again in the call i've done a demo recording microsoft teams on how it's supposed to be done. i'll put it out as one of the tests i've done for it and for me i think i'm gonna prefer bass boost for this one here so this is audio settings right here and you also can have automated actions to answer calls so it means uh, if my headset is and it's back online i can actually answer calls by flipping or pressing a button right here and also i can modify the device settings uh, i can also make it to automatically turn off if i'm not using it after a couple of minutes or seconds which i think is pretty duper nice so that is that one right there so if i was to go into microsoft teams and actually do a new meeting for example um uh that's dell wl 3024 mind you dell also has the 5024 and 7024 of this headset so this is what microsoft teams looks like for this It's gonna use my webcam and you can see right here it is using the Dell audio receiver, HR204. Okay, I think that's what they just call it. So that is the audio I'm using right there to be able to join this call. And you can modify the speaker volume for yourself. Uh, and I'm going to join that call. 
and I'm going to start recording that call right now so you can actually see for yourself what the experience is. Uh, so I'm going to go record, transcribe and start recording. So you can actually see that I am doing this live. Uh, so start a recording. I guess it was actually just taking its time to be able to detect that. Which I think is pretty nice. And I can use this button right here to drop the call, I hope. Let's see. No, it's not dropping the call. I could increase or decrease my volumes. Uh, there's another button here for the power options. I'm not going to bother so much about that one right now. But yeah, that's what it looks like to be able to record Microsoft Teams. So if you're in a meeting with your friends, with your colleagues, with your family, that is what the audio experience is going to sound like in Microsoft Teams. And I think it's pretty nice and good and beautiful. And I'm going to stop recording this one now so you can sort of. So. The reason I'm actually reviewing this is, yes, uh, this headset looks great. It looks awesome. It looks fantastic, really. Um, and it's one of those headsets that they said it has AI noise translation. And on the box, it said it's Microsoft Teams and Zoom certified, which I think is pretty nice. AI noise translation on the microphone. That is what I need for myself right now, to be honest. And I can take this on the go. But another thing I've done for myself is that uh, I have reviewed the iDoc P1. You can check that video somewhere here. And I've connected it via Bluetooth instead of connecting this to my phone or laptop to do blue catch with my iDoc P1 so I can smartly record my meetings and stuff. That is what I've done with this combo right here. But I'm going to drop a full video detailing everything I've done. I also hear the sound in my head. I, said, I plug it back to the computer there and it tells me that it is connected and it is pretty much good to go. So as regards the packaging of this, in the box, pretty much you get this no plastic packaging. You get the carrying pouch. You get a USB-C cable. You get a USB-C to A adapter, which is right here. So if your computer doesn't have USB-C port, you're still pretty much covered. And the fact that it has the side little pouch to put that is pretty, pretty nice. And uh, to be honest, it feels premium. You have the headset also inside of the case, and you're pretty much covered for all of your you know, meeting needs. And it feels great to actually move right. It doesn't feel too heavy. I think one thing is how to make this really work with someone like me that uses glasses. So I'm going to do a more in-depth review, maybe in about three weeks after using it from day to day, and see how it's supposed to work. They say this can go up to like 26 hours or so of usage and about 40 hours of listening time. So I'm listening to music. That is the claim of what it's supposed to do. But I'm going to do a much in-depth review of that uh, pretty soon. And we will see where I look. So this is just to drop a quick review. I think from my very first impressions of this headset right here, I think feels premium, doesn't feel cheap, and I think it's going to deliver. So I'm gonna, uh, when I checked the price yesterday, I think I saw it to be at about 101 pounds, UK pounds for the price. It means it's 25% off now currently on the Dell website. So if you can get that for yourself, it's pretty much if you're in a meeting. It also has this busy lights that also make it make sense for you. Remember, this is not scripted. This is just me ranting all about this headset and telling you all I love about it. And I think that is pretty much all of what I have to say. I'm going to drop a full review video pretty soon detailing all the little bits and piece of details of this headset right here. But if you're looking for one to buy, would I recommend this? Yes, I didn't buy it for my money. I think I would recommend it for that price point. I think it's going to sound great. It's going to look great. It's going to elevate your meetings essentially from horrible noise to great sounding audio. Until I come your way again yet to another video, stay safe and goodbye.